All right, here with uh, 2016 point guard Trevor Anderson. Uh, different jersey this uh, this week for AU. Just kind of talk about um, not transitioning programs, but playing for a different team uh, this week. Yeah, uh, this week uh, we couldn't get in this tournament due to personal stuff with our uh, program director and NY2LA. So uh, um, we're at a different tournament this weekend, and uh, it just kind of sucked to not be in the NY2LA. This is probably the biggest event in the country, as most people know, and um, me and my dad and coaches just thought it was best to be able to play against the best competition and, and um, play play with a new team just for this week. I'll be back with the academy uh, next week in Louisville, but yeah, I'm just playing with the playmakers and just hopefully we can win some games here. Obviously a lot of guys on both teams in that first game, but a pretty big crowd of coaches for that work. Yeah. For you, kind of look out in the stands and see who's there, kind of stuff like that. Yeah, before the games, I always look around, kind of. But once it's game time, I just kind of try to tune everything out and just try to win and play the best I can. And that rest of the stuff will just take care of itself. Green Bay specifically, I think they had their whole staff here. I know that you're a big priority for them um, in state school. What's your interest level in uh, Green Bay right now? Oh, uh, I love it. Um, ever since they. Uh, Coach Darner and his staff got the got the job at Green Bay. They've made me a priority, and I really respect the heck out of that. They've been at – I don't think they've missed a game this spring or summer. Uh, they've always had somebody there, and then tonight, like you said, they had the whole – basically the whole staff there. So, I mean, I, I really enjoy that, and I just really think it's cool that a program – takes that much interest into me as a player. Staying in-state, Marquette, um, Coach Wojo, you mentioned um, some contact from them. What's the latest with uh, Marquette? Yeah, uh, Sam, my teammate on Academy, has told me that they've there's a couple guys that they're just waiting to see, and I, I might be next in line. My name always gets thrown out there for recruiting and stuff, so I just got to be patient and wait and see. And uh, Like I said before, just, just got to keep playing well, and th that stuff will just take care of itself. Coach Guard from Wisconsin was there today. Um, you know, what's their feedback been like? Obviously, they need a point guard in this class. Yeah. Um, originally, uh, in the spring, they offered me a preferred walk-on. Kind of said that they're looking. They only have one scholarship left for my class, and they they said originally that they want to try to get a big out of that. But they said if things don't work out, that I could possibly get the get the offer or something so they're they've been at a, a number of my games throughout spring and summer and um i just like it's cool that they show interest and hopefully i can uh play well and maybe possibly get an offer from them they've been a school that's only probably about four years yeah. now would you be in a position to accept a preferred walk-on offer is it too early to talk about that right now uh probably too early i'd have to talk with my dad and my coaches who have helped me out throughout the whole process, but it's definitely a possibility. I mean, that's, that'd be really cool to play in the coal center. I mean, that's probably every Wisconsin kid's dream as a young kid. So, but yeah, it's definitely an option at this point. And some other bigger schools you mentioned, uh, Indiana in particular. Yeah. Um, you know, what other, I guess, high major schools are are going to be watching you closely this month? Um, Northwestern has called a couple of times. Uh, Virginia in the past, I don't know how much that is still. But yeah, Indiana, um, Creighton, Butler, uh, schools like that, they, they've reached out to me and they said that they're going to watch some, sometime in July and hopefully I can just play well and see what happens. Sure. Do you feel pressure? I mean, this is, this is a big stretch for you. Do you, do you feel that pressure? Um, I try not to. I mean, obviously there is. You can't really get away from it. There's, there's obviously pressure there, but I just try to kind of block it out and just play the play as best as I can and like I keep saying it's just gonna, it's gonna work out whatever whatever it is if it's Green Bay if it's Kentucky or just something <laughs> like that I mean it's gonna work out and sure sure and do you kind of have a plan how you want to attack your list and maybe whittle down to a final decision yeah um, I'm probably gonna make my decision sometime early school um, in August once the July periods are done and just kind of take some visits, talk to some coaches, and just feel it out. And then I'm probably going to pull the trigger right around because uh, I, I kind of want to get it done before high school basketball is done. So I'll just feel it out. I'll talk with my dad, coaches, and just they'll guide me to the right decision and then whatever I feel is best. Last thing here, mid-July, if you had to name a leader right now, do you have one? Do you have a top group? Uh, 
Green Bay probably right now because they're, I mean, you saw it again today, their whole staff's there. They're, I mean, they never disappoint me. I um, Just kind of that wanted feeling. They always, they've wanted me since day one and they've made me a priority and I just, I really respect that out of them. Sure, great. Thank you so much, Trevor. Thank you.